Hey guys, so yesterday I thought I should make a active rag doll game like Gang Beasts or Human Fall Flat or Tabs and everybody knows the first step to making an active rag doll game is to make the character who's going to be an active rag doll. So I didn't want to make a character in Blender and rig it because like that's too much work and I was feeling kind of lazy today. So I decided to just make one from Unity's game objects. So I've made a character with um, capsules before, but this time I wanted to make it out of boxes. And this is what I ended up doing. So this is what he ended up looking like, and actually, I think he kind of looks like that guy from Steppy Pants. So then I had to add some physics and make him like a rag doll. So I started by just adding rigid bodies and hinge joints to all of his body parts. And so this is what it looked like when I was finished. So I just made the body um, kinematic and I just rotated him around and yeah, all the limits were working right. So now that he's a ragdoll, I think it's time to make him balance. And so I've made a tutorial before. You can go watch it right now and like, it's just basically where you use a configurable joint to make him stand up, and this is how it looks. So then I started animating his leg hinge joints to make a walking animation. And yeah, this is what it turned out as. And so when you set him down, this is how he walks. and it looks pretty good. So then I made him only walk when I'm pressing the walking button and like here's the code for that. And then I just set up some animation stuff and yeah so now when I'm pressing W he starts walking and when I'm not he just doesn't walk. So then I made a camera and a camera script so you can look around while you walk. Then I made him walk in the right direction based on where your camera is and which buttons you're pressing, like the left button or the right button or forward or backward. I also made him not fall down when you stop walking. Then I made a script so you can rotate his arms with the configurable joint based on this empty game object's transform. So then I made it so that when you press a certain button, his arm goes out and it starts working. And when you're not pressing it, it just goes back. And also, it's controlled by where you're looking, just like in Human Fall Flat. I added some hands so he can pick up stuff because you need hands to pick up stuff.
So now when he's pressing a button and his hands touch something, it holds onto it and he can move stuff around now. So in Human Fall Flat, one of the main things that you do is climb. So I wanted to see if my ragdoll could climb. Couldn't really do it, but he got pretty close. So then I had to add some camera collision so your camera can go through stuff. So I started by adding ray casts from the camera towards the player's body, but he ended up looking like this, which is the opposite of what I wanted. So then I fixed that, and then it ended up doing this. So then I got a tutorial. And now it works, and you can always see where the player is. So now it's time to make some guns, because this is going to be an active ray doll shooting game. So I started by making some gun models. And when I say I made some gun models, I mean I downloaded them from the Unity Asset Store. So then I started making a shooting effect with the line renderer. And now whenever you click, it shoots. Then I made another ragdoll who was having a seizure, so I had no choice but to attack him with a cube. But then he stole my cube and he threw it away. So then I made him be able to pick up the nearest gun and it's working, except that it looks like he's going to shoot himself because he's holding it the wrong way. So then I changed something and it works now. And he can move his arm around and aim. But when he sets the gun down, it just floats in the air, so I had to give it a rigid body and a box collider. So now when you let go of the guns, you can throw it. So now only the gun that the player is holding shoots. Then I made an aiming system and added an enemy so I could test my aiming. I also made it so that things go flying when you shoot at them. Then I made an rig doll death for my active rig dolls. So now when you shoot the enemy, he dies. Here's a bunch of clips of me killing him. So it's not really fair that I can just shoot him and he can't do anything to defend himself. So then I made an AI system. And now when he sees me, he starts walking towards me.
So then he started pointing at me, and pointing is very rude, so I had to kill him. So then I gave him a gun, and it was a huge mistake. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want a tutorial for this, then I'm making one soon, so subscribe to see that.